Hello once again guys, if anybody even watches these videos, probably not, but um, I'm just going to make a video um, uh, detailing how to get more gears into your truck simulator 2 if you're using the G27 wheel. Because right uh, with the basis of the game, the G27 wheel is only set up for 12 gears with the like base document in the game. So it only has up to 12 gears no matter what truck you're driving. But if you download mods, mostly American truck mods like Kensworth and Peterbilt and stuff like that, if you get up to 12th gear, you're only doing like 35 miles an hour. And then you're like, why can I only do 35 miles an hour? And this, I guess that's it. At least that's what I thought. And then I did a little bit of research, took a little bit of time, and figured out how to do it. And I'm going to show you a video right now. So, first I'm going to show you the whole entire 18 gear system just driving a little bit if you guys have watched any of my videos with the W900 Kensworth truck man dude it's acting really slow right now then uh, you'll see that I have 18 gears set up and with the setup that I have it has four reverse gears as well on top of that alright you see that's first reverse gear, second reverse gear, third reverse gear and a fourth reverse gear. Then you have two 18s over here, which it's just there. All right. So it's, I think it's a splitter or a rage. I don't, I don't know which one it is, but it goes odds are on your first set. Then if you hit, uh, you need two toggle switches for this. And I use the two red buttons on the G27 wheel. But and then the second toggle switch switches to your evens. And the first toggle switch switches up to the 13 through, I think it's 18. You have 13 through 18. If you hit the first toggle switch again, if you hit the second toggle switch again, that's your reverse gears. And then if you hit the first toggle switch again, you're back to your odds. So I always start out on the second toggle switch, just because I think it's easier. It's really not that hard to do. Somebody, I didn't personally do the file. I found one on the internet. Like, you just need to copy and paste into the um, range splitter file to make it up to 18 gears.
So here's, you got your first reverse gear. I'm just gonna have a lot of power, but not a lot of speed. See, I'm already maxing out at like 4 miles an hour. It's the second one, same deal. Third isn't gonna have very much power, but it's gonna have more speed. And same, it's gonna have no, like no power, but you can get up to like 40 miles an hour. Which in truth, why would you need to do 40 miles an hour in reverse? I guess play this game, but might need to at some point. open and I'll just go straight to my desktop here so here we go this is my channel if you guys you know want to hit that subscribe button it's pretty lame right now but I'm adding videos pretty regularly now one week ago five days ago so maybe about one one a week two two a week maybe now so I'll put the links in the description for these but this is the uh, main topic that I found when I looked up 18 speed transmission this guy was wondering if you could do it and then after watching these this these took you how to set it up all perfectly and stuff but um if you click on this link which I'll also have in the description and you scroll down you'll find a uh, this guy right here got it working I have four reverse gears and 18 forward gears on my G27 this is how it looks code SI whatever 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 all of these that's like how you set it up and I'll show you the file I made a backup of the file somewhere in here I think I put it into this one yep gearbox range dot SII and you can if you don't have a program that'll open it from the start just do notepad and this is what it looks like before you do any changes to it this is the stock one that comes with the game I made a backup just in case I screwed something up, but it didn't mess with anything, and if I ever need to take it back, I I have a backup of it. I I encourage you to make a backup, because in truth, if you screw up your game, it really sucks. And it's just, it's not fun to try and mess with. And uh, so, to get to the, let's see if I remember how to do this. Yeah. Oh yeah. So to get to the um the file that you need to, which is the gearbox range SII file, I believe it's under profiles, and then whatever profile you're using, and then you just need the gearbox range. So yeah, it's a range gearbox, not a splitter. I'm stupid, but you do you go into the gearbox range one. Don't mess with any of these. Just open it up, and then you, as you can see, this one's a lot bigger than the other one. But if you just open it up, and then you take this gigantic thing here that this guy made, and you just copy it, and then you take this whole one. After you've made the backup of the original file, you take this whole one, and then you can just highlight it, and control V. Beesh, just like that. And now it didn't change anything for me since it was already in there, but it'll change stuff for you. Make sure you make that backup file. I can't stress to you enough of how badly you probably want to make up that backup file and then of course you'd save it as a gearbox range SII don't move it from this spot um, if you have more than one profile I don't know what to tell you um, just look for the one that like I don't know probably has more saves or whichever one you use the most and you can do it for each and every single profile if you want to but I haven't driven with the G27 except for on this one on these profiles so as you can see I don't have the gearbox SII set up because I haven't driven with the G27 yet on this profile but it'd be under so you go into your truck simulator wherever that's at mine's under documents your truck simulator folder you go to profiles you get whichever profile you're using and then you click on the gearbox range SII file you can just make a uh, copy of this guy and then go here and you can go paste 
and you'll paste a backup into another folder. Mine's under GTA backups because I didn't want to make another folder for it. And uh, and then you can do any editing you want to here, and then just click save. And it should save it under here. You go into your game, like that. You go into your game, and then you should be able to start to try and figure out. You need two toggle buttons. So you need two shift toggle buttons, which are going to be under your options. You should already have one set up if you're using a range gearbox, because or any gearbox really. You should probably have one set up because it'll switch you to your odd and even gears. But it's down here, shift toggle one and shift toggle two. Mine are my first two red buttons on the H shifter on the G27. So that's the first red button and the second red button. And then it just alternates between those. So first is odd, second is even. If you click first again, that's 13 through 18. If you click the second one again, then it's re the reverse gears. It's really pretty self-explanatory. I didn't need any instructions. I just kind of picked it up, and I've just been driving with it enough. If you watch my W900L video where I'm trying to drive the oversized trailer, I screw up a couple of times because that was the first time, I, or I think that was the second time I ever drove with it, and the first time was like a five-minute drive across town. And that was the second time I ever drove with it. And I only screwed up a couple times. And it really, it's pretty self-explanatory. So, um, I hope this video helped you guys. All the links to those two, all the links to the two, um, 18-speed transmission web pages in the description. And again, just to clarify, it's under the SCS software form, not the manual transmission form. This is just if you want to learn more about the, how it's like, coded and stuff but it's going to be under this guy right here and you just need to scroll down it's going to be under the scs software topic rather than the um your truck simulator on steam topic scs software topic so yeah um if you guys i'm going to keep making some tutorial videos on how to set up other games with the d27 and i hope you guys enjoyed this video so have a great day